Welcome back. This is Bill Llewellyn with XL North. Today we are going to be polishing concrete using the 3M Trizac system along with the stone floor protector. This is the equipment you will need. 3M Trizac disc, complete, gold, red, blue, scotch Bright diamond floor pad, scotch guard stone floor protector, 3M Easy Trap Duster, a 175 RPM rotary floor machine with a pad driver, a minimum of a 1500 RPM burnisher, a mop and bucket, along with flat mop and microfiber pad. You may also want to use a box extractor with a hard surface wand. First we're going to attach the discs using either a red or a white pad. These discs have velcro on the back so they're very easy to attach. You'll want to attach them and then twist keeping them about a quarter of an inch inside of the out, outer edge of the floor pad. At a 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock position. Once attached, set your floor machine on top of the pad and wet the area. This truly is the secret to success is making sure that the area is always wet so you'll want to keep some water either handy in a bucket and mop or in your shower tank. For each color disc you'll make six passes back and forth then sliding up and continuing the process making sure that your floor is staying wet. Once the passes are done then you'll want to remove the slurry using either a wet vac or your hard surface wand in a box extractor. After the slurry is removed you'll want to wet the area again and start the process using the next set of discs which would be the red color. Continuing to do six passes remove the slurry your final pass of the polishing program, you'll want to add a little bit of surfactant or soap to the floor. Using soap will release the surface tension between the pad and the material you are polishing. In this step you'll want to make sure that you have plenty of water on the floor. Also, when doing the, the blue colored discs, you will want to go in a circular motion on your final pass so that it is not to have any slight ghosting effect. Remove your slurry. And rinse the area thoroughly. Make sure the surface is completely dry. Once the floor is completely dry, then you will use the 3M Purple Diamond Pad to polish dry. As you can see, the floor is starting to shine. Once this process is complete, we will want to tack the area using the 3M Easy Trap Duster to make sure there's no particles left on the floor. Then we will use a backpack applicator and a microfiber pad along with a stone floor protector. And in a very thin application, roughly 3,000 square feet per gallon. Once the material is dry, between 5 to 10 minutes, then we will come back with a purple diamond pad and polish it again. As you can see here, the shine really starts to pop. We will tack the area one more time to make sure there's no debris and apply a second coat of the stone floor protector. Once dry, we will polish it one more time using the purple diamond pad. After the polishing is done, the space is ready to go. Please refrain from using any water on the floor for 24 hours.
As you can see here in this photo, the reflection is incredible. In these pictures, it compares the polishing using the 3M stone floor protector on the right versus a coating of a competitor's on the left. And there you have it. Thanks for viewing. Please go to xlnorth.com for any other questions.